Before we start modeling, let me go quickly through the Revit family editor interface. Uh, we have a ribbon that will consist of tools that are totally different than the one we have in the Revit project environment, like Create, which is for creating a basic geometry, like Extrusion, Blend, Revolve, Sweep, etc. And also Void Forms, which we'll use for cutting out uh, geometry. We have also uh, tools like connectors, which are more for uh, MEP um, objects. I will cover it later, it's more advanced. And uh, we have insert, we can import uh, some geometry like cut, for example, if we would like to have some kind of um, overlay or for, for, our, for our Revit uh, modeling process, then we will import cut geometry. Of course, annotate, like dimensioning, symbol line, etc. View settings, manage, which are which is pretty much very similar to the to the uh, Revit project environment. Add-ins, quantification. These tools are actually just because I installed some of the of the extensions. So maybe I will switch them off in the file graphics sections. Sorry, user interface. Mm, I thought I could disable it but unfortunately not so you can just simply ignore these tools this is for the room book quantification and modify the last one standard standard tools you probably already know we have properties and we have views and these views are the default views like elevations 3d views ceiling and floor plan and some of them are uh, already opened once we loaded a first uh, once we opened a template so they are automatically opened and I can use a windows tile for example to option to see and use uh, Z A zoom all to see all, uh, all all the family in in different views it will be useful especially on the stage of modeling especially for the beginner user if you want to check everything in how how it behaves in other views uh, apart from that that everything is uh, the same i have a quick access toolbar below the ribbon i advise you to to do this because if i go up there is a, for me it's it's less um less convenient to have it above so i will always show it below the ribbon and that's it okay so in the next lesson we will start modeling basic shape